Hello, people of God. This is by Jacob's Way TV, and I'm the P2P singer. This is episode 175. I've told you that when I move my head, I move my head. You should understand that I'm trying to avoid reflection on my glasses. 175. I want to share with you the revelation, well, the dream that my eight year old grandson had. And I think it's a message for the whole world. It's not what you are thinking at all about at all. Don't even don't stop this video because you think, oh, one of those revelations. No. No. We're talking about the concept of our salvation and the totality of that concept and the choice you have to make. And the consciousness of the choice you have to make. An eight year old boy. He said to me, Grandma, I had a bad dream. Some of it, I had a dream. Some, of, some part of it was bad, and some part of it was good. He said, well, I'm afraid that the part of it that was bad was more. The mother was around that day. And so the two of us were, 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 were like um, anxious to hear him, or curious. He said it was after judgment. Before I, up oh, I am uploading this, I mean, before I'm recording this video, I've called him again today to make sure I get the details right. He said it was after judgment. And then Jesus stood on one side and the devil stood on the other side. And then Jesus asked, well, I'll tell you some of the things I didn't ask him. I didn't ask him if there were only children that Jesus was talking to or adults were inclusive. I wish I had asked him that. Uh, was Jesus standing on which side? Was he right or left side? I didn't ask him that. Um, so, but Jesus was standing on one side and the devil was standing on the other side. And then, you know, somebody now asked, who is better, Jesus or the devil? And that if you said Jesus, the devil was going to hurt you. That was that is the way it an eight year old boy. If you said Jesus, the devil was going to hurt you. So because he was afraid of being hurt by the devil, he said devil was better than Jesus. And if you say whichever one of them is better, you will move to the side of the person that you said is better. So he moved to the side of the devil. So I asked him, how many people were on Jesus' side? He said there was nobody. How many people were on the devil's side? He said there were many people. So, so he said, Jesus now came over to the devil's side and picked him. I said, how many did Jesus, how many of you did Jesus pick? He said it was only him that Jesus picked. And Jesus picked him and took him back to his own side. And Jesus asked him, why did you make that choice? He said, he said to the Lord Jesus, please, Lord, I'm sorry. But I'm afraid that the devil was going to hurt me if I had chosen you. And the Lord, the Lord said to him, let me let you know something. If you had chosen me, the devil can never hurt you. Jesus said to him, an eight-year-old boy, if you had chosen me, the devil can never hurt you. And then he said he woke up. <laughs> I'm not very good at the interpretation of dreams. Because he said it again after judgment. I said, how do you know it was after judgment? He said, you know, after judgment, people will follow the devil, and these people have done where we follow Jesus. So he knew it was after judgment. So I asked him after. So what do you think? He said, well, if it feels bad that he didn't choose Jesus on the onset, or at the onset. I said, so what have you done about it? He said, well, I have not knelt down to pray, but I have told God Jesus in my heart that I prefer to choose him. 
and I have made a promise to Jesus that I will be praying and I will be reading my Bible. So I asked him just this morning, so have you made it official? You spoke to the Lord in your heart. Just go to the corner of your bedroom, kneel down and make it official. And speak to the Lord and say, Lord, I give you my life. Since you have assured me that if I choose you, the devil cannot do me any harm. Now you start asking yourself, I have chosen the Lord Jesus all this while and my life has not been smooth. He did not say that in this world we will not have tribulations. But he said, be of good cheer. That because he has overcome the world for us, he will ensure that we overcome the world. I think Jesus just simplified the, the definition of salvation for that little boy. His mother and I had pleaded with him that in all his life's journey, he should learn to trust the Lord and that he should keep this in his left hand. That every time he has to make a decision, he should choose to be with the Lord. Because the Lord has assured him by himself that if he chooses him, that the devil cannot harm him. Now that is a consciousness that we children of God must walk in. We must walk in this consciousness every time. That once we are on the Lord's side, he will protect us. He will keep us from evil. Um, sometimes it might look like you have to pray a long prayer like Daniel had to do. Don't, don't forget that even as far back as then when Jesus was not, you know, given to us, he prayed immediately. The devil was going to withstand him. Or stop the angel that was bringing, bringing the answer to him. God sent an angel to help him do, doing the warfare. So, I wish I can just tell the world that is a simple that is a simple story of salvation. If you choose Jesus, the devil cannot hurt you. Yeah, I'm always saying something. You see, people of other religions in this world can claim they don't know Jesus. They can claim that Jesus sounds mysterious. How can he be the son of God? Jesus can sound, you know, anything to them. It, 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 you, need, you need the Holy Spirit to help you accept that Jesus is Lord. They might not have reached that place of conviction. I tell you one thing, and I want you to keep it in your left hand. Don't ever let it go. If the people of the world claim that they do not know the Lord Jesus, the devil cannot say he does not know Jesus. And the fallen angels that are demons, that are like his own angels, cannot claim that they do not know Jesus. And so when Jesus said, my father has given me a name that is above all names. That's at the name of Jesus, every name must bow. I tell you, it might not look like it from the beginning. But like Jesus said to that eight-year-old boy, if you choose me, the devil cannot hurt you. If you choose me, the devil can try all sorts of things. Can make you fall a little time. I mean, the Bible test says the righteous can fall down seven times. But Jesus will always make sure that you stand back. I mean, the, the worst that can happen to anybody is to go to hellfire. But if you choose the Lord Jesus, you will not even go to hellfire. Isn't that good? I pray that that little boy will never forget that lesson. And that you, that you are hearing it, will not forget it too. Don't let the devil put you in a tight corner. Don't let the devil put you in a hole. Don't let the devil make you afraid. The reason why Jesus was given is to put him in his place. As he said, Jesus came so that he can destroy the work of the devil. Jesus was manifested 
to destroy the works of the devil. You know, this one prayer I pray, like it will go out of fashion, that I pray ceaselessly. And my mother said that same prayer, ceaselessly for us. It's the same prayer I have inherited from my mother, that my children and their children forever, if Jesus will come, will be taught of the Lord. You know, sometimes when you tell your child, this is the way to go, let us pray. Let us read the Bible. This is what God says. This is what the word of God says. He, will, he, can, he can refuse to listen to you. He might prefer to listen to his peers or to listen to social media. But I tell you, when he's thought of the Lord, then we pray that the, the plants that the Lord will have planted in his heart will be, will be so firm that nothing will be able to uproot it. And I'm glad I said to the Lord, thank you. At least you have answered my prayer concerning one of my grandchildren. So let every one of them have a revelation from you that will make them make a choice to follow Jesus all the days of their lives and pass the culture of the Lord Jesus to their own to their own children and like that forever until Jesus returns. If you choose me, Jesus said to me, to him, the devil cannot hurt you. I hope we have learned this, this lesson today. And I hope you will keep it in your left hand. And you will learn to trust the Lord more. This is my Jacobsway TV. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Go back and watch some of the old videos. Share. And let us walk on the path of righteousness for his namesake. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.